Hey everyone, it's Heidi with the Osborne Experience. Just got back from volunteering at Field Day. It's a very terrifying, terrifying day of the school year. It's not, not my kind of day. I like when my students are in like four walls and not running amok throughout nature. But I said that I would help out at my daughter's field day. And it was a whole lot of kids, so we're back. And when I got home, the UPS man was there and I got a whole box of my new releases. So I just showed you guys um, my first round of new releases that I got at convention. I got, I call it a small order of more June new releases. Um, and then I'm gonna be putting in a large order in July. So I just wanted to show you quickly what I got. I love this paper, it burns so well. Um, these aren't all new releases. I put in my order with a preschool book fair order that I was doing that was getting sent to my house. So some of these aren't new. <gasps> oh, I see some of the ones I saw at convention and wanted. Oh, I swear that days like this are more for me than my children. So someone, someone from the fair ordered the fingerprint activities. I've been waiting for this. Yeah, this is one of, yeah, this is one of our, my favorite series. Um, this is like a first science series for kids, including toddlers. So this is the lift the flap first questions and answers. And this is how do animals talk? I have never, ever, ever seen a book about a topic like this. Um, this isn't the same series as how do we see all about the senses? Um, why does it rain all about climate and weather and these are just the most beautiful flat books so i will be doing a more in-depth video i'm um, showing the books probably tonight at midnight in my basement um but for now i just wanted to kind of show you what is available online and you may hear some noise because it is like 98 point everything degrees in here and i've got my fan going so it goes through how do animals talk can parents talk in our language? Do animals have their own words? How do whales talk? Um, and obviously always with the beautiful flaps that keep kids interested and engaged, keeps their sensory going, great for kids with some uh, like ADHD or even fine motor skills they need to work on. What are these animals doing? This one is so funny. I think this one shows, if I remember correctly, Oh no, it's not this one. There's one where like a deer is spraying. Why are my ears sticking up? I think that's a hamster in a hamster wheel. Oh, cute. Uh, what else we got? Why do animals dance and show off? That's a really, really great one. It's about bees and snakes. And there's some mating dances in there. I don't know. What do these markings mean? So it talks about animal markings. Just super duper cool. There's one. Why am I called a peacock spider? about markings on the animals and insects themselves and what it means. Can animals talk with smells? Adults sure know that they can. Humans can talk with smells too, right? Pheromones, all that kind of good stuff. So again, in my next video, I'll show you the insides of these more. What are these animals saying? Ugh. Oh, oh, everything's backwards right now. Look at those cute little penguins. So this is gonna be a super duper duper book. Um, when I get a box of new releases, bedtime is sensational for at least a week. So um, these are $14.99. I have every single one in the collection because um, I like to start my kids really young. Why did I get two of these? Of course I did. I don't even know what I'm doing when I order things. This I think is the number one new release that I love the most. Osborne Look Inside Nature. I saw this at convention and had to have it. I almost wanted to steal it off of the table but I'm a book lady, so I can't do that because we're nice people. Look at those pictures. So we've got nature spotting, bugs and butterflies, making a den from a tiny seed, busy birds around the pond and on the rocks. And the, the artwork is just so, look at this little, it's just so beautiful. Look at this tiny little, look at, oh, the little owl peeking out. See, little owl peeking out. Ah, look at, and they're just so intricate. There's one flap. There's two flaps, there's three flaps. Um, I don't know what it's showing right now. Oh, winter, spring, and summer, all the different 
um, seasons of the tree, talks about the clouds and what it means when they're low uh, and rain. And you can see, look at, oh, it shows underground. It's so good. <gasps> Guys, come on, these books. This book is for $15. I can't. He, oh, he's over there doing the fingerprint book. It's fantastic. It's all over the place. So just beautiful, 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 beautiful. So many things on here to talk about. This is one step up from the peak inside, which is for little littles. This I think is great. I mean, he's three and a half and he'll read this with me. Um, it all depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for them to read it on their own or if you're okay with sitting down and reading um, with them, the look inside. Um, it's for a little bit older kids, usually, but my guy, my guy will deal with it. Look at that. That's really cool. Beaver young called kits are born in the spring. Did you know that little beavers are called kits and that they're, what are these dens? What is it? A dam? Uh, oh, it's a lodge. Look at this. I, I learned so much. Have a way in and a way out. So cool. That's a pretty page. Look at it from a tiny seed, and it's gonna, um, again, have those multiple flaps. It's gonna show you the different, I'm gonna say the word levels, and that's not the right word, but I can't think of the word right now. Um, of a seed, and it's gonna show you under the ground and above the ground. So good. The poppies are my favorite. Look at that, it shows you the poppy pod, yes. Birds is a whole double page spread on birds. Look at this, so cool, it's kind of creepy. Ah, looks like a whale. Then, oh, look at this page. And then there's flaps in it. Oh, the pond, oh, such a good page. And then on the rocks. Oh, I can't wait to do um, a video of just this book. It'll probably take me 15 minutes to just, I don't know why I have it too. I'll have to give one away. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this. We don't have um, a book like this yet. Look at how unique yeah. this book is. My back is killing me. Night, night on the farm. Read along bedtime stories. And so you're going to see inside. See the, the hen and her chicks like reading this little book right here? Yeah, you can come see. Watch this. You slide this out. <gasps> and there is the book that she's reading to her hens. How cute is that? It's a book in a book. Look at it, and then it slides back in. And look at it, and now it's back there. Look at watch your arm. And now it's back there. You see it? And it slides out. Watch, there's another one. So this one is the lambs. Look at my guy. Ah! How cool is that? Hold on, let me show, can I show them real quick for a minute? Watch your hand. See, she's, re she's reading the book there. And then you pull it out, and then you are reading the book that she's reading. This book is so well made. I've never seen yeah, got anything one. like it. And then there's a horse. Let me show them real quick, please. Thank you. He doesn't like to share his books, honestly. Um, and you pull it out, and you get to read the horsey book. And then there's one more. There's four of them total. We'll read this tonight, or maybe after Maisie gets off the bus in the air conditioning. We got this one. Yeah, and then there's another one, and this one is a cow one. Cow one. Cow one. And Look at cute farmyard tails. Oh, farmyard babies. I can't read backwards. See, and there's the book. Bam. That's so great. Can I show them a picture, please? Yeah. Look at, and look at how pretty the artwork is. As always. And I got no one. Never disappoint. And guys, this book too, $14.99. I don't know how they do that. Mm. Okay, thank you. Okay. And so it shows the um, the light in here. I'm, I'm on my kitchen floor. Um, it shows the four little books within the big book. And this is just... And I got this. <laughs> yes, that's not, that's not a new release. Someone else bought that from the fair that we worked at. Because mm. he's my book buddy. Me. So, oh, night, night on the farm. I'm sure we're going to get more of those. I'm almost positive. I mean, how could we not? Another one. Okay. I love woodland and nature books. Look at, be careful, please, big bud. The Osborne Woodland book. This is $9.99. Yeah. And okay. this looks like it's just 
I know, a beautiful non-fiction book about nature, Guide to the Woodland book. How cute is that? Um, this is the table of contents. Knock it off. How cute that is. So you wind through and it shows you summer woodland. Use your senses to feel, smell, and listen. Be a woodland bird watcher. All kinds of things. And it just reads like a really nice, whoa, whoa, how cool. Really nice upper level um, non-fiction book. I'm going to have some fun with this um, at bedtime. We'll do, we won't read the whole book, but we'll do a few two-page spreads at bedtime. Hey, Katie. I just noticed you're on here. How pretty. Look at that. You learned about tracks. Look at that, but big bud. Okay, thank you. Look at, how cool is that? Yeah. What else we have? And woodland animals leave lots of clues. So I'm not going to show you all the pages, but this is a really big, ooh, ooh. This is a really, can you just wait a few minutes, please? This book has 64 pages. Whoa, Whoa 64 pages for $9.99. So much good stuff in there. Those are not new releases, not new releases. What else we got in here for new releases? Oh, this one. Wonders of our world. I was really excited. We got a dinosaurs shine the light new one and a wonders of our world. Where's my son going? Um, and this shows you things from, uh, this is an Arizona, Colorado river. Think about people riding mules. Didn't they do that in an episode of the Brady Bunch? Oh, that was the Grand Canyon. Um, in 1943, something strange happened in a field in Mexico. A farmer saw smoke coming out of a crack in the ground. What happened to the crack? It became the Paricutin? Paricutin? Paricutin volcano. I'll be googling that. Hey Google! Where's the Paricutin volcano? Sorry, I can't help with that yet. So even she doesn't know. Uh, <laughs> Peru, Machu Picchu's in here. Uh, these people are walking between two walls of rock in Jordan. What is in front of them? And you'll see, Matt and Joseph, please. It's a temple carved into a rock. So this book is awesome. All the things around, what's, it's even showing things under, ooh, look at that page. <gasps> this is gonna be so fun tonight with all the lights off. Again, not new releases. I have been waiting for this book since convention. The Big Book of Numbers. If you have the Big Book of Colors, you, you know why I'm excited about this. Um, it's a very unique and different book. It's not like a reading book. It just gives you so many delightful nuggets of information that your kids probably didn't know. So this gives you nuggets. Nugget is such a weird word. This gives you nuggets of information about numbers. For instance, the number one, Neil Armstrong was the first person to walk on the moon. Hole in one, hitting the ball into the hole with one stroke in golf. Cyclops, oh, Cyclops has just one eye. And it tells about a Cyclops. Uh, Monorails, two, three, it talks about pears. An octopus has three hearts. Who knew? Your kids are gonna know. Three cheers, if the same person scores three times in one game, it's called a hat trick. Didn't know that either. Three is often a special number in fairy tales, like the three bears. Gosh, look at, and then the pictures are so beautiful. So like you would think that a book, big book of numbers would be for little children. My six year old is gonna eat this book up. She's gonna love it. And she can read some of the stuff herself. So this is gonna be so, so fun at bedtime. There are four sections of an orchestra and it tells you the sections. Look how excited I am right now. Um, seven spot ladybugs are a very common type. Seven years bad luck if you break a mirror. So this book, again, another one I can't wait to like really look through and tell you about. Nine tenths of an iceberg is below the water. And I love these books because then my kids will be like, well, what's an iceberg? Where do you find icebergs? You get to talk all about it. There are 10 athletic events in a decathlon. Decas means 10 in Latin. Guys. And then there's a page called and bigger and bigger. And it talks about even bigger numbers. <laughs> So good, $14.99. I don't have Dan the Taxi Man yet and I decided to get it. Any other new ones? Any other new ones? I'm 
might be it. Oh, nope. Lies. Peek inside a tree. So this is the little version of the look inside. Uh, we saw look inside nature. This is peek inside a tree for the little, little, littles, like two years old and three years old. Um, just depending on the child. Look at the squirrel. And so the flaps are bigger. There's less words and there's less flaps. Look at that with the acorn. How cool is that? Yeah, buddy. Look at the tree. Oh, is the tree not a flap? Of course it's a flap. <gasps> How fun! Yeah, bud. A cloud. I'll show you in a minute when I'm done with my friends. Showing my friends all the new books. Woodpecker. We have woodpeckers. Yeah, all over the place. And a mama bird. What else? Oh, look at this with the woodpeckers pecking at. How cool is that? Showing all the bugs they're eating. We have a lot of woodpeckers right here. So my kids are really into it. And then we've got a double flap on this page. Double flap, flap, flap. I know flap. which one is in bites. You know which one bites? No, I, want, I, make, I, I know which one is in Oh, oh, gotcha. And look at look and at all the little horn. holes in here that you can see through. And, and then there is, oh, look at This is kind of a neat flap showing the city in different seasons. Oh, beautiful. Those are $11.99. What else did I get real quick? Someone else got this. This is for the preschool fair. Lots of read with Osborne books. Levels three and four and one. This is new. Princess and the Pea, read with Usborne, level two, Princess and the Pea. I have never introduced my kids to Princess and the Pea, and I remember this story from when I was little. Janelle, Janelle is in the VIP, and she just messaged me if I had, I sent her a mini catalog, and she said, did you smell the mini catalog? <laughs> Janelle and I love to smell our books but the ink in the mini catalog is so saturated and beautiful. It smells so good. She loves the smell of ink, which is really, really funny. So Princess and the Pea, I cannot wait for this tonight. These are $3.99. Billy Groats Gruff, Bears, I got this one. Stories of dogs in level three, how fun. So my daughter in kindergarten won't be able to read this yet, but the stories are just so good. And for $3.99, how can you not? And then she'll be able to read them eventually. Um, someone bought pterodactyls. No, pterosaurs to fold and fly. Someone bought planets. My whole stack is gonna fall over. And that's it for new releases. Someone bought, this is a, a little bit of a new release, 100 Things in Nature, and someone bought, well, this is a big, big um, farming town. So this, people went wild for the wind up tractor book. So those are my new releases. I said it was a small haul, a little bit of a small haul. I have a um, event that has rewards that I've been stacking up to get all of the new releases when they come out in July and to like get a haul of like $400 worth of new releases, which is so exciting. Um, so that's it. So when I can find some time, like I said, probably at midnight when all the kids are asleep, I will be making videos down in my video situation downstairs um, to show you these new books more in depth. I always say, I always say everything's my favorite because everything really is with these books. And I always say that every new release, like release um, is amazing. But God, like honestly, these books, this release, Wonders of the World, um, the see inside, no, the look inside nature, a lot of nighttime books coming out. I am just like giddy over it. And especially in the summer, um, you love to read about nature books in the summer, right? I mean, I guess nature is all through, this one's going to be so fun. Um, and then knock it off. I have to show you one more time because I just can't get over it. Who thinks of these things? Ah! I love that you can see it slide in and out right there. <sighs> oh, what a great gift for like a first or second birthday. So thanks for, 
Thanks for hanging with me. I still, I still don't understand how I got two of these. Thanks for hanging with me. Nice face. Thanks, Matt. Again, it's bronzer. And I just came, I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty. I just came from uh, volunteering at field day. So, all right. We got a truck down to get Maisie off of the bus. I cannot wait to look at these in more detail. We'll probably go in the air conditioning right now and read all the new releases. Yeah, buddy, you want to say bye? Come here. Maddie's on here. Hey, Emily. Matt, you can't see her, but she can see you. So, um, well, yeah, we'll probably go in the air conditioning and check out all our new release books, right? So exciting. And I will see you very, 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 very soon. Again, we have um, the reading challenge, the summer reading challenge signups over in the VIP for um, July. So head on over. We, we, I will see you soon. Bye.